There you are. I wonder where you got to. Anyway, a very warm welcome to the island of Skye. We're just outside Ski Bost House just now. But we're not going in there because it's about £700 a night to stay there. Even a cheese sandwich would cost you a mortgage these days. No, instead we're going to go down to the Isle of St Columba, one of those hidden places here in Skye um, that not many tourists go to. So uh, we'll go and have a wee look. Very medieval. So we're crossing the very old bridge here, which goes off over the river Snizort and flows into Loch Snizort. Look at that, pretty stunning. So I hope we're on the right track. It's not really signposted, apart from when you get to this fence. And there you go, you can see St Columba's Isle. So coming over the bridge, over the river Snizor, this is the Ski Boss Bridge. Come through a wee wooden gate there, and then you've got a wee path to go down. So let's follow the path and see where it leads us. So uh, sitting to this uh, stone here, it's quite a modern sort of uh, plaque. It tells you St Columba's Island, it's the ancient burial ground and site of the Cathedral Church of the Bishop of the Isles from 1079 to 1498. Similarly ancient is the mortuary chapel Nicholson's Isle where according to tradition, 28 chiefs of that clan are buried. So let's go and see them. So here we are, over the rickety rackety bridge. Watch yourself in this chicken wire in here. And this is also a Commonwealth war grave. So let's think about being respectfully. Right, there's a path that splits here. Let's go and have a wee look at what we can find. So this is obviously what's left of one of the old buildings. Um, it is actually a very small island that we're on, obviously. All right, we'll just keep moving around. Try not to bore you. There are a couple of uh, very old gravestones here. Any sort of writing or pictures on them, I'm afraid is gone. But in amongst it all, we also have something that's uh, relatively modern. This one here is to uh, Murdo MacDougall. He died at Duntalum in the north of the island in January 1921, aged 96. And it tells you that for a long period, he was the teacher, postmaster, and registrar at Kilmuir, or sorry, Kilmuig, a man of great integrity and highly esteemed. Well, I wonder if they'll ever write that about me. 
but good on you, Murdo. We'll just keep moving round. Another wee uh, headstone. So this here looks like it might be another building. All right, we'll just start up there and work our way down here. Yeah, see if I can get in. You can actually see the top of one of the gravestones there. So when we came in there, we came in over the uh, old ski boss bridge and the peaty waters of Snoisort wash the undulating grassy gusset of St Columba's Isle. Now, I'm not very good at the old Gaelic, but I'll try and say it. So it's... <clears throat> Eilin Gillum Gilly. I don't know how accurate that is, but uh, maybe should take some more lessons. So there are some more gravestones here. And there's the beautiful river itself. So these would be dwelling places. Let me see here. A few more headstones. And up to this, this is about the best of the buildings that's here. This one here, see if we can walk around it. it falling in your bum. Which I'm apt to do. There we go. So there's a great book by a lady called Mary Myers. Uh, it's called The Western Seaboard and it gives an illustrated architectural guide around the west of Scotland. And this wee place is included in it. And what she actually says is this. Oh wow, didn't expect that. She says, in the Norse Kingdom of the Isles, Skye was one of the Bishop's Seas, which was probably based at Skibost from 1079, although this cannot be proved. After the parish was united in 1134, a collegiate body of clergy continued to reside at Skibost, which had the status of cathedral of the diocese. It's probably that after 1419 this became the bishop or by now separate diocese of the Isles and that the bishops continued to base here until the Reformation. although there is no evidence to suggest that they moved to Iona directly even if it was proposed that they might in 1498. So check this fella out. Knight in all his armour. Absolutely amazing. Such a small wee place as well. Tiny, tiny.
Welcome to the Church of St. Columba of the Isles, here on the island of Skye. It's a real wee hidden gem, so if you get a chance and you're on the road to Dunvegan and you come through Skibost and stop for five minutes, come over the bridge and out here to the island and it'll whisk you back to medieval times. Because of course, the thing about Skye is a lot of people think that it's just all to do with the Jacobites, etc. But there's so much more history, so many millions of years ago with dinosaurs, medieval parishes, and so much history. And the best thing about it is that it's very tangible. You can get your hands onto it. So, come into Sky. Don't always go to the places that are full of tourists. Come and see the hidden gems. So that's us just about to leave St Columba's Isle. Thank you very much for joining us. And just when you thought, I couldn't get better, it did. Check out this. Another medieval knight with sword in situ. And what a long sword that is. Let's have a fly through. There's some writing on it. I'm not too sure what it says or means. But I can always find out. Unbelievable, boy. Eh? So there we go. Once again, thank you very much for coming along on our wee journey to another hidden spot on the island of Skye. Once again, if you're coming this way, take the time to come in, have a wee visit, understand the history of this place. But most important, leave nothing apart from your footsteps take your rubbish home with you. So from here on the Isle of Sky, at Skibost, over the river, it's noise art. It's time for me to say, Cheerio bye! Or, Konnichiwa! Well that's hello isn't it? Well, you know, Always like a wee bit of international flavour in my videos. Bye from Sky.